What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chiwar back at y'all again with another art video, man. If you're new to this channel, go ahead, hit that like button, comment, subscribe, make sure you click post notifications so you'll be notified every time you put drop some heat. In today's video, I will be teaching you guys how to become better freehand artists. So without further ado, let's jump right into this video. Okay, the main thing you need to know to become better at it is no secret, bro. All you gotta do is practice. The more time you put into it, over time you will get better. You know what I'm saying? So, but I'm gonna show you some good ways to, you know what I'm saying, to practice. You know what I'm saying? So, let me, let me go ahead and set my little, set my little pressure on my brush. Anytime you trying to, trying to goddamn learn how to draw, what you want to do is you don't want to just go into it just automatically drawing. You want to start out with a sketch. A sketch is like a blueprint. You know what I'm saying? You know, when somebody building a house, they don't, they don't just go put bricks down and stuff like that. At first, they draw out a plan. So you want to make a plan before you even start on doing your line work. So what I like to do is I like to find me a nice bright color so I can make me a sketch of what I'm finna draw. And y'all see the picture that I'm looking at. You know what I'm saying? I put it on the side so y'all can see. So what I'm finna do is I'm finna just got the end. Try to make the shapes of what I'm seeing. Cause see everything is it's like a different shapes you put together. You know what I'm saying? You wanna measure everything out and just make a quick rough sketch. And the reason you want to be fast, you don't want to like go so slow, because like if you're drawing, if you're sketching slow, that means you're already trying to commit to a line. You know what I'm saying? Meaning you're gonna have a hard time erasing it because you're moving so slow, you don't got attached to what you just put down. So that's why I like it when I'm making a rough sketch. I like to try to move fast because I don't even know if I'm gonna keep it. Be like, man, maybe I need to change something. So let me just go down. Let me just try to move quick. Never know when I need to go in and switch something up. So, I'll just start out with a. Let me drop this opacity down. And I need to make my brush a little bigger. I like my. I like my sketches to be real light. See a lot of things I want to switch around. What I'm finna do? Stretch this face out a little bit. We gonna make these ears a little smaller. And one thing about a sketch, you can take as long as you need, as long as you get it right. As long as the picture look perfect at the end, that's all that matters. So if this take all day to get right, take all day, man. But just don't be in a rush to get finished. Just take your time until you perfect it. And another thing about sketching too, you need to um just find time, some spare time to work on it a lot. Every time you get some free time, find you a picture. It can be just, just go to Google and type in like model photos and then just pull up a picture and start practicing. Now I promise like if you, you try to do that like every day for like a year, at the end of the year, you gonna see so much progress in your work. You gonna be like, dang man. So try to practice for a full year. You gonna see the progress. Right now I'm looking at my making the little changes I need to be making. Let me bring this up so it's got the eyes way too close. Play about right there. It's like putting together a puzzle. Okay. I'm gonna slowly. Slow 
throw the ass in more detail. So, I think, I think, I think, I brought a kind of like this. It'll be about right there. It'll sit right, right about there. She got some big eyes. This side, same thing, slowly piecing our sketch together. Man. It ain't going to be perfect. But we're going to work our way to perfection. That's why we practice. Because a lot of people think, they were like, man, dang, how you, how you able to make it look so easy? By doing stuff like this, bro. Just practicing, man. Taking the time out. To practice. It's just like going to the gym. Like if I wanted to play sports, you gotta really go work out and really be in the gym so you can perform better. So that's what I do. I practice so I can perform at my base. You know what I'm saying? But that's what I say. A lot of people always ask me, man, how you get or what should I do to get better at shading? You gotta you gotta do it a lot. You gotta be terrible a lot to get good at something. So get used to being terrible before you get good. You know what I'm saying? And you just gotta understand everything. Everything is a process. It take time. I really like sketching because you really get the I can literally sit on this all day until I get it where I need it to be. You know what I'm saying? So while you sketching, while you making a sketch, if you practicing, don't hurry up and try to rush to get to doing the final line work. Stay on that sketch as long as you can until you finally got everything looking proportionally correct. You know what I'm saying? On your picture. So don't just try to rush. If you need to erase a million times, to get one line right, do it. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, you're just trying to make you trying to make the best picture you can possibly make. That's the goal. Trying to make some great artwork. Let me see. I need a um. Let me see. Notice her. Her eyes. It's a little closer. Or is it? Erasing. You know what I'm saying? So move 
episode. Okay, move it down just a tad. Like that. See the good thing about sketching too, like you study what you what you looking at. So I'm studying the photo that I'm looking at. You know what I'm saying? You pay attention to every single little small detail, cause every every detail make a difference. Every little small thing will make a difference. So just come out like this. probably can draw an amazing picture now like if you take your time you know what I'm saying it probably take you longer than me if you just like not like really perfected your craft yet but I promise you if you put more time into making changes and erasing and getting every little piece right you can make an amazing picture so you see what I'm doing like I'm just if I mess up somewhere, I go back, I look at something, I switch it, I switch it, I keep changing, I keep changing things until I finally got it looking like the picture I'm trying to copy. So, practice makes perfect, so try to get as much practice as you can, find random photos online. Just type in model pictures and just grab one each day. It's been like, like, you never know how. Just, just make time for it each day. I don't know how much time you can make for it. So, anything would be good. Any, any practice would be good. So, you trying to get better at this? You got to give it some attention, man. Pull this over soon. Pull it down. Okay, I think it's right there. Okay. Now only. Now let's zoom. I'm gonna zoom a little closer in on her eyes. But sometimes, you know, the eyes is the windows to the soul. So sometimes you get these eyes on point. It'll make a difference too in the picture of making it look like what you're trying to draw. So we're gonna put a little more detail. I'm paying, I'm paying close attention to detail in her eyes.
Freehand artist, just gotta spend a lot of time on doing some freehand. Man. Let's so, and we got it right there. And I also think her eyes is a little wider, it's a little bigger. What I got them, and I got them to spread it, <clears throat> I got them spread it too far out. Thank you. 
and I think back for right now. I think it is. No, I think I'll hit a little. A little bigger. Just a little bit bigger. So what I'm gonna do is grab all that and pull that up like that. That's what I think. And the more you do it, man, the better you'll get at seeing things. All it is is being able to train your eyes to be able to see all the details so you can be able to just copy what you see. Sketch this again like later in the future so we can see the progress, you know what I'm saying? Thank you. 
your head a little too goddamn. Man, hold on. Feel like stuff. I'm at your face. Okay, let's see what's going on. So I'm make it a little wider. Made a head to be <laughs> have an alien brain. Let me see, pull this down. What was that? A But see, that's why you practice, man. You'll feel me. We're going to do some more practicing. You know what I'm saying? But make sure you don't do like me. Don't stop where I stop. Get it perfect. If you need to switch something around, do the changes. Make the changes you need to make to get it how you need it to look. Thank y'all for watching. Make sure you stay tuned. More heat coming soon. And I'm out this thing.